Welcome back. What's going on? Today we will be talking about reverse engineering and decompiling C Sharp and .NET applications with something called IL Spy. Now, if you haven't heard about IL Spy, is it's actually a disassembler and decompiler. But for what? For .NET and C Sharp applications so if you have if you've got some .NET application or c sharp you want to decompile it you want to just reveal the source code you will want to use il spy so basically the usage of il spy is very simple this is the main repo for that app and you can just download it for windows by going to this url and hitting on latest release from here you will see the history of changes and the updates on the application if you scroll down, you will see the zip file where you can install that and start working. So here you can see also latest updates for language features which you can uh, use. So here is C Sharp and also support for .NET. Alright, so what's good if we don't talk about an example, right? So let's talk about or let's take an example application and decompile it with um, LSpy. So this is my uh, virtual environment here. And now we will, this is our application. So this is the application that I would like to decompile, by the way. So let me first get in here and run the app. So if I run the app, I see here a dashboard. It seems to be a TBFC dashboard and it prompts me for a password. And if you are a user who doesn't uh, or didn't have an interaction with the program before, you just, you know, what is the password supposed to enter? So if you enter something like password, so this is the wrong key. And you don't want to try uh, so many times because you might get blocked. So what's good suggestion is we take this program and decompile it. Now, you can right click on that and go to properties. So in here you see it's an executable application and uh, you can see more details about that. All right. So we will open now IL Spy. So once you open IL Spy, uh, you see here the main interface and here it's telling you to check for updates. Never mind, it's not the topic of this video. So basically, uh, let me remove this one. I'm going to tell you how to... Okay, so I remove that. Right, so when I open the app with IL Spy, we go to... File. Open. Navigate to the application. And here we have a new thread opened on the left pane, okay. Now if we expand this one, you can see that the various uh, namespaces attached to that application. Now we were interested to know and find out what is actually happening and what is the source code of the program. At the same time, you wanna know actually, uh, why, why does the program ask about a password, right? It asks a password, it means that there is a hard-coded uh, credentials stored in the program, right? So the program takes the input as password and then checks or does a check uh, in the background to see if the password entered by the user is actually existed in the password stored in the program. So since there is no database connected to the program, we will assume that there is a hard coded credentials in the, pro in the program. So let's take a look at the, the different namespaces here. So we see resources, crack me, about form. So this doesn't have to do with the source code. So the source code is definitely in one of these namespaces. We see something here called crack me, also see std, expand both. So this is not related. Okay, so we have about form and main form. If we expand about form, click on about form load object. So here we see a function, void function about form load. 
So this is actually um, not related to the login form. Let's skip to the main form. So in the main form, we have got several stuff here. If you click on main form, we see the main function, public main form, and here it's initializing another function called initialize components, and it deploys catch and throw. So if we go to main form void, all right, button about click. So here is the button function or the function for the button about button. So if I open the app now, okay, so we have a form. Now all of these are just uh, the source codes for the, uh, you know, the uh, functionalities of the program, the buttons, the forms. So here we have activate click. We see another function button activate click so it seems that this function actually works or does activate uh, when when you send the correct password so you see here we have um, at this line this seems to be the correct password we're looking for so Santa password 321 and then it takes the password does several checks and then it's telling you welcome Santa here is your flag that's the right key and if your password is not correct you see the message box that gets displayed oh that's the wrong key which is exactly what we got when we tried the wrong password now if we go to button exit click so here's the exit function let's go to main form load Okay, nothing in here. Panel logo. These are for for the several stuff other than the password. Text box. Panel logo. All right. So the interesting stuff here is that we have a hard coded password here. Let's try this password out. Take that. Copy it. Provide that to the program. Welcome Santa. Here is your flag. So nothing happened after that. Yeah, of course, this is a demo program, but I just wanted to show you how to just, you know, if you have a, dec if you have a .NET program and you want to decompile it and how to go through the several threads. So basically, if you want to go to other threads here, you can just expand them and take a look at the uh, codes here. But actually, what is, in, what, is, what is the point of interest about this program is the crack me part here. Of course, in more realistic um, scenarios, you will have to go through every single namespace here to find out the correct uh, source code. So basically, in, in case, in our case, the correct source code was in the button activate here, which is the function responsible for uh, validating the password input by the user. Other than that, you will see here the default namespaces that comes with the program. So you see Windows Base, Presentation Core, Presentation Framework. You can also explore these, but uh, if you're not a, a .NET developer, you're not going to have a hard time going through all of these. So that was, and if you, as you can see here, one last note. Once you open a program, you will see the .NET Framework a version used to build the application. So here you can see .NET Framework version equal 461. And again, remember to just take a look at the different resources and elements used by the program. So if you go back again to Crike Me and expand both About Form and Main Form, you see we have several other elements or references to elements that the applications or the application uses. It's not only the buttons actually. You see here the logo and you see here the labels and the text box. Yep. Okay then. 
So today's video is kind of short and simple. I just wanted to take your attention for this IL Spy and how to use IL Spy to just decompile any .NET application. So that was for today. See you in the next video.